actor Ken Osmond will be the first to tell you that he was typecast. It's hard to look at him and not say, holy cow, there goes Eddie Haskell. And while there may have been a time when Ken wished that that hadn't been the case, these days Ken is perfectly fine with it. For six seasons, Ken played Eddie Haskell on the classic TV show Leave it to Beaver. Originally intended to be just a one-shot appearance, Ken was so good as Eddie that it was quickly determined that he would be a regular on the show. The character of Eddie connected with audiences so well because I think we all have had friends who were a bit like Eddie. A closet rebel, if you will. Kind and polite when around any sort of authority figure but behind their backs, full of subversive defiance. To this day, if someone is referred to as an Eddie Haskell, it is often meant to describe a person who is an insincere flatterer. Although there were times during Leave it to Beaver where I actually questioned whether or not Eddie was being insincere, especially when complimenting Wally's mother, June, who was frequently decked to the nines, even when working around the house and in the kitchen with pearls and high heels. As Leave it to Beaver was nearing the end of its run, Ken joined the United States Army Reserve. Because the show was still filming, Ken would be granted leave to appear on the show in return for his willingness to make personal appearances for the Army's Special Services Branch. One thing we need to get out of the way fairly early in this video is that Ken Osmond is not Alice Cooper. He never has been, never will be. This rumor started when Alice referred to his mischievous young self as a real Eddie Haskell. Some reporter took him literally and well, the rest is history. And although it does make a good story, it simply isn't true. Nor was Ken at any point an adult film star. Here's what really happened, and you know what? I think it makes an even better story. You see, Ken joined the Los Angeles Police Department. After Beaver, although Ken did make some appearances on various TV shows, quite frankly, people saw him as Eddie Haskell. When Ken got married and started raising a family, it became apparent that he needed steady work. And being the kind of guy that Ken is, much like his decision to join the Army Reserve, Ken wanted to serve and protect. And he did so for many years, day after day, Night after night, Ken put his life on the line to keep the citizens of Los Angeles safe. He grew a mustache for a little bit of anonymity, but that didn't stop some of his fellow officers from partaking in a little good-natured teasing with Ken from time to time. You know, Ken was a police officer for 18 years, and yes, during that time there were numerous gunfights, and yes, Ken did put his life on the line frequently. One incident in the fall of 1980 was particularly harrowing when in pursuit of a thief, Ken was shot multiple times. Ken eventually retired from the force in 1988. It was an easy decision to make because even before retirement, Ken had found himself back on the screen. 1983's Still the Beaver TV movie was a big hit and would lead to more episodic television work on a new series detailing the exploits of adult versions of the Beave and his brother Wally. Ken talks about all of his experiences as America's preeminent bad boy in an autobiography that he co-wrote with Christopher J. Lynch. I'll post a link in the description field of this video if you're interested in picking it up. One thing that is certain is that despite the passage of time, the core actors from Leave it to Beaver, well, they remained very close. Nowhere was that ever more evident than during an event that honored Barbara Billingsley after her passing. Each of these fine men pictured here got up and talked about the special times that they'd had together. Especially moving were Ken's comments where he talked about how gracious Barbara had been. Although he actually spoke the fewest words, it is my opinion that at least on that evening, he said the most. I could talk about Ken's family, but beyond the standard Wikipedia stuff, it does appear that they've chosen to stay out of the limelight. I'll tip my hat, however, to Ken and his wife Sandra for being married for 50 years. Holy cow, that is impressive, especially these days. Well done to both of you. Ken also volunteers his time and still looks, 
even these days for opportunities to serve. The article pictured above details a relatively recent trip that Ken made to visit a group of inmates who were also veterans who had formed a support group of their own while incarcerated. Ken donated his time to lend his support, which in this case meant hanging out with a group of starstruck guys. Yep, they'd been watching Leave it to Beaver reruns on TV and could not believe that Eddie Haskell was stopping by to see them. Aside from his autobiography, Ken has also written another book. This time it is a collection of inspirational stories about real heroes. It's titled Above and Beyond and it seems like it might be worth checking out. These days, at least I think, we can use all the inspiring we can get. As long as we're talking about all things Leave it to Beaver. If you haven't joined the fan club on Facebook, you're really missing out. It's such a great community full of warm-hearted conversation about a wonderful TV program from years gone by. It's easy to find. Just type Leave it to Beaver fan club in the Facebook search box and, well, before you know it, you'll be part of the conversation about Wally, the Beave, Larry, Whitey, Gilbert, and of course Eddie. I have also been digging the new Leave It to Beaver, Still the Beaver fan page on Facebook. It's a great way to lose track of hours worth of time as you take a trip down memory lane, this time with the spin-off movie and TV series that I mentioned earlier. All right, one final picture. I tell you, I think Eddie was crushing on Wally's mom just a little bit. What do you think? Anyway, please share your memories about Leave It to Beaver or Eddie Haskell or Ken Osmond in the comment section below and while you're at it, please click on the thumbs up icon and why not consider whether or not you'd like to subscribe to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and television mostly from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.